Hey, what is up guys? Merganman4 here, and welcome to the new year. It is now 2022, and I think uh, with the dawn of a new year, it's the perfect time to uh, restart taking requests, which I've been on a break from taking new ones, working on catching up on the old ones for close to half a year. But uh, they're going to look a little bit different this time around. I'm going to be making a couple of changes uh, for a couple reasons which I'll get into in a minute um, and I'm actually I'm going to be reading off a bit of a script here because there's specific information that I want to make sure I don't miss out or forget about um, so yeah without any further ado why don't we get into that basically uh, this is going to be pretty much a big revamp of how I've been doing this that I've been thinking about for a while now. So I've mentioned previously that I've been looking into having two different kinds of requests. Uh, I mentioned that back when I originally stopped taking new ones, and those would be free ones and paid ones. And I'm going to be implementing that starting from today. There are two main reasons for this. One, I never anticipated that these videos would get anywhere near as popular as they have been. and. I've simply not been able to deal with the sheer quantity of them. Uh, I mean, I've taken nearly half a year off from accepting new ones and I'm still not quite caught up, although I have got them down to a level where I feel it's more manageable. So hopefully the main goal of implementing this system uh, is to basically prevent me from getting as overwhelmed in the future and to make it easier for me to be able to keep up with it because here's the thing. I just do this in my spare time. It's not a job. It's not something that uh, can be, you know, a priority for me over other things in my life. And that kind of leads me into uh, the second reason why I'm doing this, uh, which is that, as I say, it's just a hobby. But that being said, I spend a lot of time working on these title sequences. A lot of my free time goes towards them. And to be perfectly honest, it is hard to justify spending as much time as I do working on these uh, without being able to get anything in return for it because I can't even monetize these videos. They, they get copyrighted claimed and they're ineligible for monetization. And here's the thing, I do enjoy doing these, but it has gotten to the point where I'm spending so much time on them that it almost is starting to feel like a job in and of itself. And so rather than stopping doing them entirely, I wanted to make things a bit more flexible to make it easier for me, but also to still give the option uh, for people to request exactly what they want to request. And I definitely didn't want to force people to pay uh, to get a title sequence if they didn't want to or if they couldn't. So that's why the free option is there. But by implementing a paid option uh, that also gives the opportunity for those who are willing and able to be able to give something back. And it'll also help me in the future to be able to continue spending as much time on them as I have in the past. So with that out of the way, what are the actual changes that are being made? Well, there's essentially going to be five different tiers of requests. The free tier, and then four different paid tiers. So I'll go through each one, one at a time. The first one is, of course, the free tier. Uh, with this tier, there will basically be a couple of different restrictions on what can be requested. Uh, firstly, only one title sequence at a time. One of the big things that was overwhelming me before was that people were asking for multiple different requests at once, or multiple different title sequences within the same request, and that really built up the list quite quickly. Uh, so going forward, if you want more than one title sequence done for free, you're going to have to wait until your first request has been completed before you can ask for another one. Another thing is, I've occasionally shuffled the order of the requests a bit if somebody wanted the title sequence done for a certain deadline. With the free tier, I'll no longer be doing any sort of shuffling in the order and won't be attempting to meet a specific date. Uh, it'll just be finished when it's finished. Another slight change is that uh, after you make a request, only minor changes can be made after the fact, like a name or a title change. Uh, any major changes, like switching the title sequence entirely or adding new aspects to the request, will be treated as a new request and will move your current request to the bottom of the list. And finally, this is probably the biggest thing here, uh, only relatively basic edits will be accepted for the free request. Um, essentially, anything that might change in one of my doctor swap edits is okay. So, names, faces, credits, that sort of thing. But additional things such as logo changes, or merging multiple title sequences, or themes together, or recoloring, or added additional elements, uh, it won't be accepted with the free tier anymore. And one more thing about this tier, um, 
Depending on how good a job this does at limiting my workload, it, this might never actually come into effect, but there will be a cutoff of 50 requests on the free tier. So basically, once I reach that number of requests on my list at any one time, I'll be stopping accepting further requests, uh, just like I did last year, um, until I can get that number to maybe down to half, and then I'll reopen the requests again. And basically, when that happens, you can keep an eye on my community tab to see when the requests close or open up again. I'll try and keep that updated so that you guys can know. Um, but I do want to note that this only applies to the free tier. There won't be any sort of cutoff for any of the paid tiers that I'm about to discuss. So with that out of the way, uh, I want to discuss how the paid tiers are going to work. It's all going to be done through a site called Ko-fi, uh, and I've linked my page down below. Essentially, you can donate however much money you want uh, with a minimum of five Canadian dollars, and when you hit certain levels, you'll receive certain perks. Uh, it can be a one-time payment or a monthly payment, and you'll keep the perks for a month after your last donation, as well as for any requests made during said month. And I'd also like to note that all tiers include the perks from all the previous tiers. So here's how they break down. The first tier is the minimum of $5, uh, and pretty much this just gives you access to updates on what I'm working on done via Discord. So that might include like behind the scenes pictures or teases of upcoming videos, uh, things like that. Uh, primarily it's here for people who'd like to contribute something, but can only really afford a small amount, or for people who aren't really concerned about any of the perks from the later tiers. It's basically just a small little amount to help me out. The next tier is for $10, and uh, for this tier you can have one additional title sequence. Uh, so you can have two on the list at any one time, and you'll also be put on a separate VIP list, which will alternate with the regular list. So uh, ultimately paid requests will be done quicker than the free ones. I'd also like to note that you can continue getting one additional title sequence for every $10. Uh, so in other words, a $20 donation will get you two additional title sequences, $30 donation, three, etc. The next tier is $30, uh, and for this tier, title sequences can be done by a certain date if necessary, uh, with at least a week's notice ahead of time. I can't just do one the day before. But uh, I'll be operating on the good faith basis that there is a reason for the specific deadline. Uh, for example, tying in with the debut of a fan series or being done in time for somebody's birthday, uh, rather than just, you know, impatience or eagerness. So basically, I just don't want that option to be abused, but I do want it to be available for people who do genuinely want it or need it. Additionally to that, um, with this tier you can make whatever changes you want to your title sequences, whether they be major or minor, uh, and you'll also be allowed to have slightly more complex title sequences, such as recoloring or merging two title sequences together. Uh, and then the last tier I've come up with uh, is the $50 tier, and for this tier you can request as many title sequences as your heart desires, you'll have access to more complex edits such as logo changes or merging many different title sequences together. Basically, uh, this tier will be the no restrictions tier. And uh, I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm completely new to this sort of thing. I, I have no real experience with it, so please cut me some slack if there are any hiccups along the way. Uh, and also, if you have any questions or concerns uh, about this, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them. And hopefully, um, since I, I, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I, I'm going through this for the first time, so uh, things might get changed or adjusted as time goes on as I, as I learn new things and to make it more streamlined and um, more accessible. But uh, yeah, like I said, the primary goal with this is basically just to make this more doable for me uh, as, a, as just one person doing it in their spare time. So hopefully uh, that'll be able to do that and it'll make it easier for me to keep up with the title sequences but also um, allow the option for those more complex types of title sequences to be there if you really really want them. But uh, yeah I guess with that um, Mergaman 4 over and out and I look forward to seeing whatever requests await me from here on out. So I'll see you guys later.